Today marks the 100th anniversary of the birth of Celtic's iconic manager, Jock Steen. Steen's playing career spanned 14 years, including nine at Celtic. As captain, he won a league and cup double before taking over the reins as manager of the club's reserve team in 1957. Despite embracing at this label, Steen was told by the club he wouldn't be able to progress any further due to his Protestant faith. However, he did eventually become first team boss in 1965, after leaving Hibernian to take on the role. Fast forward to 1967 and Steen was on the cusp of European Cup glory. After a 3-1 win over Dukla Prague, Celtic faced Italian giants Inter Milan in the final in Lisbon. Despite falling behind to a penalty, the Scottish side triumphed in a 2-1 win with a team all born within a 30 mile radius of Glasgow. The 1970s brought continued success on the domestic front. During this time, Steen and Celtic won a record 9 league titles in a row. Steen was appointed Scotland manager on a full-time basis on the 5th of October 1978. Performances and results were mixed, but going into their last qualification match for a playoff spot in the 1986 World Cup against Wales, Scotland only needed a draw. David Cooper scored to level the game at 1-1 with just nine minutes left to play, securing a playoff against Australia. Tragically, Jock Steen suffered a heart attack at the end of this match and passed away at just 62 years old. Jock Steen is widely acknowledged as one of the most influential managers in the history of British football. Since his death, Steen has been inducted into the Scottish Sports Hall of Fame and the Scottish Football Hall of Fame. When Celtic Park was rebuilt in the 1990s, the traditional home end of the stadium was named the Jock Steen Stand in the great man's honour. On 5th of March 2011, a greater than life-size bronze statue of Steen by the sculptor John McKenna was unveiled outside Celtic Park. The statue depicts Steen holding the European Cup.